Hey all, this is 401119 with Head Frame Hunters. Now there's been a fair bit of desire for content on these little machines. So I'm going to give you all a quick operating tutorial on an Emco 911B LHD. That's a one yard LHD scoop tram, mucker, bogger, load haul dump, whatever you want to call it. Depends on uh, if you're American, Canadian, Australian, etc. Uh, anyways, it's powered by a four cylinder Deutz F4L 912W air cooled, normally aspirated diesel engine. So here's the uh, blower fan, serves to cool the cool the cylinders and the oil cooler, which is a miniature radiator. Here's the oil bath air cleaner. This particular machine is equipped with a water exhaust scrubber, which is built here. It's sort of a, I described it as a proto-DEF or diesel exhaust fluid system. Uh, exhaust gases pass out of the exhaust manifold through ductwork into this, which is a glorified water tank. And back here is your rear light, your horn. And up here, this is a, a previous owner modification for improved cooling. I believe they were using, I don't believe they had a, Really good ventilation. Of course, uh, five pound fire extinguisher. And we come over to the operator's side of things. So, I assume that everyone watching this channel knows what a steering wheel is if you're over the age of about five. Uh, left, that's your disc brakes, which are an auxiliary braking system. Next to them are your master cylinders. Steering is is done hydraulically via an orbital valve that controls that steering cylinder right there. And here's your directional pedal. You tilt forward, tilt the pedal forward to go forward, center it for neutral, and put your heel on it back there for reverse. And there's a rocker arm that is connected to a three position hydraulic valve on the hydraulic drive motor so this is a hydrostatic drive machine this lever right here is your parking brake it's designed to annoy you if you're operating it with it engaged in this position it is engaged in that position it is disengaged keep it engaged because the machine is parked here's your throttle lever this is all the way at idle and all the way to forward, full throttle, or uh, as far as the governor will let, will let the machine go, which is, I believe, 2,350 RPM, which is specified by MSHA as part of its underground emissions approval. Here's your loader controls. This is standard two-stick loader controls. Uh, here's your boom control and your bucket control. So boom up, boom down. Bucket, uh, bucket back, or bucket dig, and bucket forward. And instrument panel, oil pressure, operating temperature, oil temperature, and transmission oil pressure. Here's your battery box. It's right here. Here's your hydraulic oil tank. There's your sight glass. There's the, the drive line that runs from the drive pump sorry about the light a drive line that runs from the uh, or the the main drive motor to your forward differential or transfer case LED lights those are brand new off of a cat 793 surface haul truck coming around to the bucket this is all standard front end loader fare spade bucket is drilled for removable teeth or cutting edges. We're discussing building a removable tooth bar for the machine. So, I'll just lastly show you how to start the machine up. Ah, this is the kill cable. So this machine does not have a conventional Ignition, or doesn't have a modern ignition switch. Let me repeat that. Let me rephrase that. Uh, it just has a kill cable which cuts fuel flow to the engine. And your 
Hobbs meter, Hobbs hour meter back there. She's got 17 hours on the meter exactly. So to start the machine, insert your key, turn your key to the on position, and I will get over to the other side of the machine so I can more easily get the kill cable. Come over to the other side of the machine. Pull this to the preheat position for a moment. And then... And it's important to let the engine come to a complete stop before depressing the kill cable, otherwise the engine will refire. It's going to be a little bit difficult for me to do any kind of video while I'm in the machine unless I narrated it or did a voiceover in post-production. Uh, and the reason that I'm doing this video today, this is probably the last time this machine will be... Uh, up here for a bit because it's going underground tomorrow. I'm gonna be taking her down to a narrow vein gold mine in western New Mexico. And, uh, I'll be seeing that content as well if I can get some good video down there. Well, I know y'all been wanting to see these machines, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Adios.